This is Joe from He Said, She Said. And I want you to know that it's okay to set boundaries in your life. It's okay to tell people that it wasn't okay the way that they treated you. What they said was totally disrespectful. What they thought was cool was not cool. How many times have you heard someone say something that was totally out of line, but there was a small part of you that didn't want to say anything? You didn't want to ruffle the waters. Have you ever been that person? Have you ever felt that? Are you feeling that way right now? It's okay. I've been there before. I've been that person that doesn't want to ruffle the feathers. I've been that person that's like, you know what? I, it is a time and place or I have to pick and choose when I'm going to say it. But the best time to address it is in the moment. The best time to say it. And again, remember, it's not about what you're saying. It's how you're saying it. How are you conveying it? How are you delivering the fact that you disagree? It's perfectly fine to disagree with things, but it's all about how we're saying it. What's your tone like? Do you need a moment? Do you need to walk away from the situation and come back to it and then address it? Take your time with it. It's not about our society nowadays says that you have to address something right then and there. Boom, 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 boom. It has to be instantly. It has to be a, a knee jerk reaction or uh, shooting from the hip, as I like to say. It's just an automatic boom, boom. Like as soon as they say something, boom. But not all the time you'll be able to react in that way. And in those moments, it's okay to step away and come back. But don't let that pressure, don't let that resentment build. When, it, when you let it build up, it's only a matter of time before it explodes. Do you wanna be responsible for that level of explosion? Do you wanna be responsible for coming to someone and telling them about all these things that they've done? So now, after the 15th time they disrespected you, now you're letting them know one through 14 as well as 15. And the person's like, I don't even remember number one. And you're talking about number seven, number eight, number nine. That's why it's important to address it as close to the moment as possible. But in setting boundaries, it's difficult. It's difficult to de define them sometimes. It's difficult to say, hey, I don't, I don't like the way you did what you did but it's necessary. You are setting the bounds to your own game. Your game is your life. It's like in the game of football or the game of basketball. They have inbounds, they have out of bounds. When someone steps out of bounds, what does the referee do? They whistle, they blow the whistle. And it's time for you to blow the whistle because your game is your game and it's no one else's. And it's time to stop playing games with those that are playing games in your game the wrong way. Teach them. You, every person has a level of teaching in them. Teach them how to treat you. Value you above the value that you're placing in not ruining the moment. The time is now. It takes some practice. It's time to get to work and practice teaching people how to treat you the right way.